Hello. Years ago, along with Bob Athade, the music director at Stanley Middle School here in Lafayette, California, I developed DB School's Music Gradebook, which is a program he uses to track the progress of his students through a sequence of music books. And it's a web app. It's written in Scala, has lots of features. You can read about it at the website you see here, davebsoft.com. And at the beginning of the year, we need to import student data from the student information system. And I discovered that some of the permanent student IDs in the database were wrong. And so I had to write a little program to correct them. And I'll show you how that works. Um, this is not actual student data, but it's representative of the problem. In the database, there are records for the musicians, and they have an internal ID. And then this is supposed to be the permanent ID from the student information system. And they're supposed to be in a longer form like this. But somehow we got the short student IDs entered. So I had to write a program to take the incoming student roster that had the correct permanent IDs and using matching up on the names, create SQL statements for the database to update the musician table to correct the permanent student IDs for the affected students. So I'm going to walk you through the process of making that application. And since Music Gradebook is written in Scala and JavaScript, I decided I would do this program in Scala. So here on the left, you're seeing a Scala program, and I'm going to develop it here. First, we want to read the file of correct IDs. So let's use source. From file, this file is called IDs.txt. And we'll save that into IDs. And IDs is of type buffered source. Then we want to get the lines from that file. So we say get lines. And then we want to do something for each of those lines. We want to split using a tab. Now here, that's a space, that's a tab. So if we split by tab, we can divide the name from the ID. So we'll say this. Split on the tab. That creates an array with two strings. Then we want to split the first string by comma so we can extract the last name and the first name. So here's a way to do that. Parts is our array. This gets the zeroth element out of the array. And now we split on comma space. That should pull out the last and first name. Then we need to get the number out. And the number is in parts element 1. And it's a string in this form, and we want to turn it into a long integer. Then we want to turn this. Uh, so then finally, we, we make a tuple. So tuple of tuples, really. The key, we're making a key and a value. So the last and first name is a key. And the value is going to be the number. So in a moment, we're going to read through this file. For each one of these, we're going to find the name. And then we're going to search this for the element with that name. And then here we say to map. And we save the result in IDs by last first. 
So we get all the lines, we map over them, and we do something for each line. The result of processing each line is this tuple of tuples. So we have a key, a compound key made up of last and first name, and then the permanent ID number. And that is a map. So if I just show you the type of IDs by last first, it is a map of tuple of string string. The key is the is the last name and first name to the long number. So this map we can use to very quickly look up the permanent IDs using the last name and first name. Okay, now that we have that IDs by last and first, I should be able to print it in case you want to take a look at what it looks like. So we'll run the program here. And here's the map. So here's the first key and the permanent ID to go with it, the next key, and so on. So that part is successful. Now we want to process the second file. So this is called bad.txt. So we need something like this. I'll just copy this line. And I'm going to call this input. And this comes from bad.txt. And what do we want to do with the input? Well, we're going to get the lines, kind of like we did before. So get lines. And then for each line, we're going to do some things. We're going to split the line on tab. Let's just see what we have in here. Uh, there's a tab. Here's a tab. And here's a tab. So there are four things in there. We're only going to use the first three because this is the wrong permanent ID. We don't need it. Um, so we're going to do a split on tab. Line split on tab. And what are we going to do with that? Also, we only want to get the first three things. So we'll say take three. That'll give us an array of this, this, and this. And what do we want to do with that? We want to pull out the pieces into variables. So we'll say this. And what do we have there? We have an ID, a first, and a last. ID, first, last. There. So we've done our split. We take the first three elements and we put them in these three variables, ID first and last. Now using the, uh, the last name and the first name, we want to search our map, this map, to find the permanent ID for each one of these students. So we're going to use get on IDs by last first. We say get. And here we have to give the key. And the key is a tuple of the last name and first name. So let's create that. Last first, that's our tuple. And then we may or may not get a result. If we do get a result, then we should do for each perm ID. Uh, for each suggests that there's maybe more than one, but really there's going to be zero or one. If we found the student, then there's going to be one permanent ID. And what are we going to do with the permanent ID? Well, now we want to generate a SQL statement so that I can run a batch of these to update the database. We're not going to update the database directly in this program. We're just going to generate a SQL statement to, to do the update. And that's going to look like this. We're using uh, Scala string interpolation so that we can build a string from some constant parts and then some variable parts. And in SQL, we'll say update musician, that's the name of the table, and we want to set the 
perm student ID equals, and then here the string interpolation comes in. We've got this perm ID here, so we say dollar perm ID. So we're setting it to the correct perm ID, where the ID is this ID. So this is the ID for the student in the musician table, and we want to find that ID and plug in the correct perm ID. So this ID is this one. I say dollar ID and that gets it and we need a semicolon and now uh, we should close these files here so IDs close and input.close and um, now when I run this the result should be uh, uh, several of these lines I think we'll find all three of these records. So we should see three lines that come out that say update musician. So here we go. And there they are. These are SQL, structured query language statements that I can use to run in the database to correct these permanent student IDs for these affected students.